Jedi Survivor just got announced for the PS4 and Xbox One coming September 17th. There's definitely a lot you could say about it, but I think really what it comes down to is at least one good thing, one bad thing, and one maybe kind of weird thing, I guess. So my first thought when I saw the tweet was I was really excited because I have a buddy who has not uh, upgraded his Xbox One to a Series X and doesn't plan to. And I was like, oh, dude, you can finally enjoy Jedi Survivor. I mean, this is, I mean, this used to be a PS5 and Xbox Series X ex exclusive. I mean, he doesn't have a PC or anything. I was excited for him to be able to play it. And then I thought, yeah, there's probably a lot of dads still using PS4 or Xbox One. And they're probably like, yeah, we can, you know, finally play this game. These consoles are not mm, cheap. I mean, they're definitely fairly priced, but they're also not, you know, not, not everybody has $500 lying around. That can be a tank of oil. That can be food for the month. That can be, or food for the day or the, or the week even. It's, th there's a lot of things that, that can go towards. So I definitely feel for those people who haven't upgraded their hardware yet. It's at least a means where you can play these games still. It's kind of funny because you can go through YouTube and look at people saying, you know, I still haven't upgraded my PS4 yet to a PS5 or my Xbox One to a Series X or, or S. And I even did one my own and it was actually my 10th video and it was my best performing video on the channel you can check that out right here now that i have upgraded my ps4 to a ps5 i'm definitely happy about the performance of the console for sure there there hasn't really been a whole lot of games for it i mean don't get me wrong there these these games absolutely perform better on ps5 i mean you know look at spider-man 2 look at god of war ragnarok i mean you know those are definitely better ps5 that really i mean Ratchet and Clank was a a PS5 only really. And in my video I did say you 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 know it could have easily been ported to the PS4 but you know in hindsight looking I mean you actually need the SSD to compensate for all the world switches and stuff they do. But at the same time there are plenty of experiences you can have on the PS4. The bad thing about Jedi Survivor being ported to the Xbox One and PS4 are yeah, last gen really hasn't died yet. <laughs> and it's frustrating for people who really are caught up on their games. I mean, there's there's a lot of dads who have bought a PS5 or Xbox Series X or S. Really, it's like, okay, when is last generation going to die? <laughs> it's just like when when does it end? Companies are obviously seeing the benefit in porting their games still to the PS4 and, P and Xbox One. You saw that with Hogwarts Legacy, albeit these games aren't playing as well, but does that matter to the consumer? I think what the bo bottom line is, yeah, maybe they wish they had better performing games on better consoles, but they're at least getting the core experience of those games. So, yeah, it's kind of uh, kind of a thing where you can, for every positive, you can find a negative. For every negative, you can find a positive. And the weird thing about the port is that, you know, the eighth generation is really impressive in how long it's been around. We started in 2013 and we're going into, tw and we're going to, into 24. So you, see, you, uh, you, th you think that's 11 years now. I can remember in 2015 buying Metal Gear Solid 5 for the PS3 only to buy it for PS4 later on because it, it ran better there. So you think that's from 2006 to 2015. So it's not really too shocking when you when you consider that, I guess. I mean, yeah, it's definitely frustrating for, again, for those who have caught up. So what does really this mean for the for the consoles going forward? It, you can think of it in two ways. Is, is the PS5 and Xbox Series X generation going to be vastly extended because we're still in this intra inter console period where where games are being released for these four consoles i mean we we started the console generation off in 2020 maybe we won't end it until maybe even 2030 or something like that so that could be what it is i mean as far as that's maybe that's when the consoles get cheaper and that's but even then too we've seen more of a price increase with these these console generations and not a decrease usually you see some sort of bundle happen usually you see some some sort of something but the way the economy is right now like the prices have only gone up so 
I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing to talk about. You can check out my video for the ninth generation and how maybe it sucks, but you know, you're a dad and you know, it doesn't really all that much matter that there's not many games for it. And then you can also check down this video right here and YouTube is going to give you the best video for your viewing pleasure. And for all things games for busy people, I will see you on the next one.